Kevin Brockmeyer. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, a graduate of the Iowa Writers' Workshop, and I am in town tonight to read from a new novel called The Illumination at Prairie Lights. Uh, will I always get who are your favorite writers? And I'm well prepared for that question. I carry a list around with me of my 50 favorite writers on a single sheet of paper, uh, or 50 favorite books, actually, that I can kind of hand out at readings. Um, I get, where do you get your ideas? I think every writer gets these questions. Um, what else? Uh, how, how old were you when you began writing? I, I would imagine that everybody you interview has got uh, you know, a standard set of questions that they can anticipate getting at every reading. The only environmental circumstances in which I'm able to get work done uh, are that in my home and in my office and in front of my computer. Uh, you know, I don't get any writing done when I'm traveling. I don't get really much done at all if I'm in a strange or foreign environment. I get an awful lot of reading done when I'm traveling. Well, I, I've written for both children and adults, and as far as my children's fiction is concerned, there's a writer named Daniel Pinkwater, um, whom I adored when I was a child and rediscovered in my 20s and still love today, particularly a book called Alan Mendelssohn, The Boy from Mars, which if you had interviewed me at the age of 10, I would have told you was my favorite book, and it's still one of my favorite books. It's extraordinary. Um, as far as writers for adults are concerned, I think very highly of Italo Calvino, um, William Mack, Maxwell, um, J.G. Ballard, um, just, uh, you know, a, a broad mixture of contemporary literary fiction writers, science fiction and fantasy writers, and uh, the classics, and Americans and international writers, you name it. Well, a good night's sleep, I guess. Um, I do a lot of reading, but I would be doing that anyway. I don't know whether you know, I mean, I suppose I use reading as a way of recharging my batteries if I've discovered a really good book, at least. There are words that I shy away from and try to take out, but sometimes they'll seem appropriate for the voice, and so I'll go ahead and permit myself to use them. Um, basically is a word that I find myself shying away from frequently. Um, and then there are just kind of placeholder modifiers that help the rhythms of a sentence, uh, which are words like great. Uh, it's very easy simply to slide that into a sentence, or little. Um, and I try not to permit myself to use those words very often, um, because they don't do much real work, but they can be very convenient if you need a word that doesn't do much real work to contribute to the rhythm of a sentence. I don't know. Uh, you know, there are stories I intend to tell at some point that I haven't yet figured out how to tell. Um, but none of them would have found a home in my earlier work. So, it, it, you know, I can't conceive of having used that material yet. It took me a long time, frankly, to figure out how to write stories that were even remotely autobiographical. Like, that, that was not my roots as a fiction writer. Um, and eventually, you know, I came around to an interest in writing about my own life and uh, trying to use those for fictional purposes. I think there is, yes. Um, there's a writer by the name of Barry Lopez, uh, and I, I heard an interview with him in which he talked about this Japanese word, uh, which I'll probably pronounce incorrectly, but it's kotodama or something like that. And the idea behind that word is that every word has got kind of uh, a hidden spiritual dimension to it. And that uh, as a writer, it's your job to kind of treat those words with uh, the respect they demand and try to you know, approach them in such a way as to uncover that ineffable something that lies hidden inside each word. It's not a traditional religious notion, but I think most of the writers I love best probably approach language with those sorts of thoughts in mind. Who is a writer? Um, you must have gotten some curious answers to that because I don't quite know 
how to approach it. I, I guess, well, a, a writer who is interested in the art of writing is somebody who, for whom kind of the rhythms and interior dimensions of language are the founding consideration, even if they're not the single most important consideration in every given piece of work, uh, they're always what has to come first.